Hey guys, Manny CA here. Thought I'd do a quick video on uh, percussion caps for used in cap and ball revolvers. I've got three cylinders here. Uh, one of them is from the Ruger Old Army, you saw in one of our older videos. This is from my Pieta stainless, and this is from another Pieta replica right here. This is a 36 caliber. So, uh, never shot this one on, on video before. I think there's too many videos of people doing it already. I'm trying to do stuff that's unique uh, to help you guys out, get, get a lot of information out there. That way, it turns it a little bit, uh, turns a little clarity for you guys. Uh, first thing we're going to go through, you've got number, you got three, maybe four different types of caps you go through. You got your number 10s, and I've got some Remingtons here. Uh, you got your number 11s, which are CCIs here. And then you've got these guys, which are RWS. And uh, these are number 1075, which somewhere between these two. So, and then you've got your CCI. Of course, you got your musket caps. And you've seen these in the videos before. See them? Big four-winged musket caps. And the way I like to use these guys is these are the reenactor caps. Um, it says here multiple use. Four-winged 100 reenactors, which uh, they don't have a lot of powder to them. These are what the guys that do the Civil War stuff use. So what I do is I'll take, you know, take them and just dribble a little bit of black powder in there. And man, I'll tell you, good as uh, anything you can buy in the store. So these work really well. These are for the musket, musket cap type guys, guns. You see how big they are? These are for a lot of rifles, shotguns, some shotguns. And you see they don't fit. So you would only use these. And you'll see the nipples. You got some big nipples on them. <laughs> big nipples. Well, anyway, that's your CCIs. Uh, here you come with the ten and a halves. I show you these guys. They're just a little bit of a different fit, and depending on which cap and ball revolver you have, uh, that'll that'll determine which ones you'll need to fit. I know on my um, on the old army, the number tens Remingtons, I think they work pretty good. Let's see. Here's a number ten Remington. They fit. Yeah, so you get a nice snug fit with that. See that? So, but I don't think the number 10 it has will fit at all. Yeah, see, they're pretty, that's, yeah, that's tight. Uh, they're smaller. So the 10 it has somewhere in between the 11s and the, and the 10s. So depending on your, your the gun that you're using, can't even get this one off. But depending on the, the gun that you're using, it determ it's going to determine what kind of caps you're going to need. Here's the CCI number 10. Let's see if I get these guys open. They are the smallest. They look like they're the smallest of the bunch. See? So, the CCI number 10s, I think, yes, they won't fit on the Ruger. Well, they're tight. Ah, they get, a, they get you get a tight fit, but the thing with these is you want to make sure they go all the way down. You want to make sure that when you do the uh, the uh, the fitting, they they sit all the way down. Otherwise, what'll happen is you get a false fire. You know, you get a failure to fire. Then you gotta come back around, hit it again, and the first time it'll seat it. Second time is when you actually get the fire. See, it fits. Yeah, see the number 11s fit really really nice. On the Pieta, this is a 36 caliber. See, whereas let's see the Remingtons. Yeah, the Remingtons are all around because they're a little bit larger. Yeah, the Remingtons fit on there. You can see the, the difference on those. This one being the Remington, or this is being the CCI, or the Remingtons right here. So they're snug, they'll fit, but every once in a while you'll get a revolver that is just like a. Uh, just a bastard case where won't any of them won't fit or you're gonna have to squeeze them on and see the uh, the Remington number 10s are really universal they fit nice on on the uh, the Pieta whereas the number 10 and the 1075 the RWS yeah they fit too they fit awesome they fit nice so you just got to uh, you gotta shop around and you know have an assortment of caps. See, and the 11s fit really nicely too on the Pieta, you know. 
So it's just you gotta you gotta shop around, look around, you know, find the ones that work for your gun. It's kind of like a trial and error type deal, you know. Uh, another thing is we make our own. I don't know if you guys seen the videos that I've made where we punch our own caps. Now our caps, they they're pretty much universal. And see the way because of the way we make them, when they stamp out, you see it kind of. Let's see if I can open this up for you. It kind of uh, <clears throat> forms like a star crimp that expands. You see that? And what that expansion does is, well, gives us a little more leeway. You're able to open them up a little bit and press them on the nipples. So they'll, yeah, see, they press on there pretty well. Um, and these were just made with soda cans. And on the Pieta, yeah, the Pieta is the one where we did our test fire. See, they fit a little loose on the Pieta, but like I said, you just take them and you kind of crimp them down. You can crimp them and they'll slide right on. See, you're not going nowhere, you know. So, of course, these are a little, more, a little bit more labor intensive. You still, you've got to stamp them out. This is our tool. You stamp them out and then... You've got to fill them with your priming charge, and then you've got to put you know, a little bit of hairspray in there. And I like to use a little bit of black powder. Grind up a little bit of black powder, get a little black powder dust, stick it in there, and that'll ensure you get even ignition. Use hairspray, because hairspray will keep everything locked in. So I thought I'd run down to a quick little primer on the uh, primer, <laughs> on the percussion caps situation and you guys can't find them yeah i mean uh now they're starting to come out a little more available than the last year or two but i thought i'd give some info for you guys on what we do and how we do it if you guys have any questions send me an email or a text or uh you know send me a message Till next time